All right, and welcome back, folks, to Esports Arena. My name is XT. I'm Jordan Vro. We're off screen right now, but I can rest assured that we're waving at you. Maybe. They've run it back to Pokemon Stadium, opening it up. Of course. Squirtle versus Inkling. Ever so most popular stage right now for Ultimate. You know, just a great map overall. Great music. Great start for the PT, I guess. <laughs> Pokemon Trainer. Yeah, on the home stage. Yeah, got to get that uh, type advantage, I guess. You know, Inkling, I guess, is a water type, but there's Ice Sword. Bad matchup. Careful. <laughs> Yeah, it gets bonus advantage against that ink. Maybe it's poison. Maybe. Oh, yeah, ink is probably water poison now I think about it, huh? Something like that. Know. They do dip into their ink. That's true. Well, either way, right now, um, before we went into our commercial break, we were talking a little bit about the Pokemon Trainer, and one of the things we wanted to kind of point out, once again, bro, three characters in one, you have to kind of just be careful of every single character. And for Denti's case especially, you know, the sure, Charizard. He plays the Squirtle Ives very well, but he also plays that Charizard who has been kind of neglected by most Pokemon Trainer mains, but clearly not by Denzi. Yeah, the potential for this Charizard is actually still being uncovered. Yeah. Great damage output, great kill potential. Yeah. He did the up smash out of shield to confirm that first stack. Um, I know a lot of Charizard mains from Smash 4 kind of a little bit sad that they don't have that super armor from the Rock Smash anymore, but Charizard is still overall still a great character. Blast Burn, always a very hype move to watch, but definitely a very dangerous move. Yeah, the first time I saw this move, I'm like, there's no way. Yeah. There's no way this killed me. <laughs> oh, but uh, speaking of that, there's a roller that can take out the, <laughs> the Charizard. <laughs> Charizard. Yeah. Once again, type advantage, you know. Dunty really... <laughs> Use that ground move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great positioning from Frost. Use that dash dance jab right there to set it up. Yep. Dunty already at 55, and oh, there's the Ivysaur. And we've seen what Dente's Ivysaur is clearly capable of. Once again, you know, earlier Winner's Finals, we saw how quickly Frost got taken out on his last stock here. That was because of that range coming out from the Ivysaur. Oh, the down there! And you were just saying how good of a downer it is, can threaten offstage so well. Yeah, it does a great job on just two framing people who are just trying to get to the ledge. And, you know, Ivysaur's down there, no exception. She's really good. Already have a stock advantage here for Denti. Frost has a lot to climb in this entire side. Wow. And he switches to the Charizard. Gets a little bit burned. Oh, what? Was that? That was a seismic toss, I think. Yeah, what's the preferred throw? I think four throw. Just kind of shoots him out of there. But that's going to be the tail. Oh, my Almost gosh. Out there. A B. So aggressive. <laughs> Look, what is this Charizard? Like, seriously. Oh, my so gosh. So aggressive. Lots of t use of tail off stage. Literally, like, if, if there is one heavy character I think is just the most underrepresented heavy character game, it has to be Charizard because, like, all players kind of just ask, why play the Charizard when you can just play anything else? And look at that. Seismic toss. That's going to be Denty on the Charizard taking out Frost game number one. I feel like he was Charizard that entire stock. Yeah, me too. That entire stock, Literally. he was not scared at all. Used the position with the tail. Yeah. Played off stage. Got some grabs. Really great use of heavy characters, as you're saying. Yeah. And I think the Charizard also kind of just beats Frost in to just kind of go in a little bit ham. But fortunately, I think Denti kind of just fully aware of what's get about to happen and just has to go his countermeasures ready and deals with the inkling quite well. Game number one gonna be going over to um, Denti. Denti. And now Frost gonna be taking the Yoshi story, I believe. So I like the small stage. I think one yeah. of the best tools about Denti is that he uses his range to kind of force. Oh, a character swap, actually. Frost switching to the Diddy Kong. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, so I'm 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 sure most of our viewers are aware. I, I think you're a little bit aware too. Actually, Diddy Kong got a little bit of a buff. Did he? Yeah, he coming into uh patch 3.0. He did receive some range buffs, I believe, um, namely on his forward air, a little bit of damage increase too. So that did kind of help him out a little bit, made him a little bit, feel make makes him feel a little bit better. But Diddy Kong in Smash Ultimate, definitely a fall from grace from the Smash 4 days. Yeah, one of the best characters in Smash 4. Yes. Now he seems like a very mid-tier character here. Yeah. He unfortunately kind of lacks what most height and top tier character has. Sure, he has a small heart box, but unfortunately, he doesn't really have that burst. Um, he doesn't really have his greatest strength. Strings. Yeah. You know, like, once again, his up air, unfortunately, no longer as good as it used to be. It doesn't hoo-ha? No. Hoo-ha. No longer there, man. 
I like the F smash setup right here, but <laughs> yeah, Denti, Charizard Master. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Literally every single stock besides the winner's finals has come from that Charizard, I swear. Yeah. And notice how we actually aren't seeing Ivysaur in this matchup. Pretty yeah. interesting move from Denti. Yeah. The Squirtle seems a lot more favored in this. Um, I think he's the type of player that plays matchups differently. Yeah. And I would also probably just argue that, you know, Frost may be expecting the Ivysaur. So Denti got to be playing two of the other characters that, you know, once again, Pokemon Trainer doesn't tend to go for. Um, and so far, this Squirtle doing a pretty good job. The little jabs push him out of shield grab. Dude, look at how happy that Squirtle. Okay, bye Squirtle. Never mind. I was gonna say, look at how happy like Squirtle is just corner pressuring him, beating beating up Diddy Kong with a smile, service with a smile right there. One thing I'm noticing a lot about Denti is he's not afraid to play the corner. He's yeah. Very comfortable going off stage, on stage. Yeah, and just kind of goes to show once again. I think Pokemon Trainer all his off stage options very very nice across all three characters. But oh wow, Uppy actually landing, but. Here's a Charizard. Stock? Wow! Fair in the middle. Are you serious? Okay. He switches at such good times. I know. And you don't really expect the Charizard to be able to do it. But once again, Charizard does a great job at just, you know, getting that good hit in. And you're just out of there. He's actually sticking to Charizard, too. What a madman. I think you, got, you have to suffocate him. Mm -hmm. Bananas aren't really adding too much impact. No, unfortunately not. And another thing that we do want to talk about, one that I think one of the more noticeable nerfs to me, to me uh, was from Smash 4 to Smash Ultimate, Diddy Kong no longer really having that down tilt set up. You used to get those two down tilts into the grab, into the down throw, into the up airs and stuff. He doesn't have that anymore. Once again, like you're talking about, he doesn't have those consistent strings. Yeah, a lot so. of straight hits using his positional advantage in, in projectile yeah. game. For me, when I look at Diddy Kong, oh, great up smash, by the way. But yeah. when I look at Diddy Kong, it's more based around his forward air now. You know? I see. Um, being able to just have that increased range, increased damage. But so far, he hasn't been able to kind of land too many of those. No, and I think part oh. of it... Oh, that's scary. Wow. Part of it is that Squirtle's profile is so difficult to hit. He, oh, yeah. He flips around when he jumps. He has a small profile on the ground. Look at him, he's so happy, this squirrel. <laughs> he's just happy to be here, dude. I think it's part of it. It's like the the, the profile of characters in Ultimate, they look uh -huh. more at you, so it's easier to see the I know. <laughs> Down here, threaten. There's the up air, very strong once again. It, it's like one up air away. Dude, Denti is even, dude, Denti's gonna switch to Charizard, watch. <laughs> he's like, you don't deserve me at my best. <laughs> is this it? Oh. No. Sparing out his opponent once again. Denti has great mix-ups with this back air, retreating. Then zones right back in. Yeah, Denzi right now just playing very great Pokemon trainer. Nice Uppy. threaten with the rockets. Good play from. Oh, there it is. Is this it? I, I, seismic toss. <laughs> no, it's the fair. All right. What a claw. Is it? <laughs> Frost is down 2-0. He's got a he's got a mountain to climb. Oh yeah. Speaking of mountains, you got a Charizard to deal with, and Denzi once again just proving us. You know, once again. You what do you? Okay, so he <laughs> went Diddy Kong on a small stage. Yes. Do you? I feel like there's two different ideas going on. One is Denti's so good with range. Mm -hmm. Let's get to a smaller stage. But right. I feel like Diddy Kong might want to use like a FD stage or like a wide stage to take advantage of projectiles. Yeah. So, like one of the things that I would say that Pokemon Trainer does lack is that you know projectile performance and characters like. Unfortunately, the Omar and the Snake do a pretty great job of yes. kind of bullying that. Yes. Even the Young Link, too. Um, so, unfortunately, like, Denti right now doesn't really exactly have the characters kind of deal with it. He, like, for me, when I look at Denti, I feel like he has, like, two options. Maybe go with a character with, like, a lot more range. Maybe something like a Fire Emblem Swordy. Or just go for that defensive option here. But looks like we're actually going to get it. The Lucina going to be coming out. Um, so, I guess that nullifies the Charizard. A lot better. I feel like this idea was kind of the idea originally had on Yoshi's. If he could yeah. have picked a sword character on Yoshi's, I'd have been very excited. Yeah. But now, I mean, we are in Yoshi's, but this a is Yoshi's, Yoshi's. Yoshi's Island or story. Something What's like the that. combo game like for Squirtle? It's always good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh! oh. oh. Really? Oh. <laughs> that is so cool. That water gun is so disgusting, dude. Offstage water gun with the trade. <laughs> what do you do? All right, uh, okay, that aside, let's let's pretend that never happened. Okay, Denti homie stock. That was a homie stock. Frost threatened that real good <laughs> right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Frost with the character swap once again on this Lucina. Um, 
you're, I think you're very familiar with this playstyle, once again, because Frost is the Echo of Marf. And, you know, Lucina, right now, I'd say, is, in, once again, still in contention. We don't have that clear best sword character just yet. Yeah, Marth and Lucina are pretty much ranked equally. Yes, along with, you know, Krom and, I, or Krom and Roy, you know, who are kind of awesome in that same tier, except a little bit more aggressive. But the thing about Lucina is that, you know, once again, she doesn't really rely on the tipper. You know, her damage is equalized. And I think that is really favorable for a lot of players, you know? Yeah, having that consistency on all approaches. And look oh. at that dash dance tilt. Uh. Denti's Pokemon use is so great. He <laughs> uses the recovery trick on the right side. Uh -huh. Ooh, but great. Oh, add the time. And time. Add the time. This is a fast paced match. <laughs> fast paced is an understatement. But look at this. Denti right now. Great job off stage with the Squirtle. This up tilt setup sets up for so much. Squirtle fighting out. I don't know if you want to taunt Denti because right now Denti doing a great job schooling his opponent. But ooh, Frost off stage. Two he goes forward back. errors. There's the character swap. Tether is back in. Oh, a great forward error. Yeah, from the edge, covering it. Very nice. Razor Leaf fights this edge. Oh, and the upbeat to take him out. What a 3-0. Wow, Denti! Oh my lord. He used everything, really. Yeah. Great use of 